with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. This week's featured lesson is the popular bluegrass tune Rocky Top or Rocky Top Tennessee, probably made most famous by the Osborne Brothers. And I created an intermediate to a beginning arrangement for this tune. And this song often gets played pretty high tempos at the jam. And you know, while I'm not a monst, quote unquote, like monster or hot picker, so to speak, you know, I still incorporated, you know, runs of consecutive eighth notes, you know, because that's what those guys do. But what I kind of did you know, I did some eighth note runs, of course, but I also implemented a bunch of double stops in rhythmic patterns to kind of get us through those areas so we could play at those high tempos. And so again, I'm using some double stops on the high E and the B string. Okay, so I'm using some of that pattern and then, you know, kind of emulating the, the melody with my right hand a little bit, you know. So... If you are, oops, sorry. If you're interested in checking out the full-length version, as this is just a preview here, you can click the link below or up or above, and I'll shoot you on over my website. And there, uh, if you do purchase, the full-length version is about an hour in length, because again, I got the verse and the chorus, so the whole tune about 40 measures or uh, 37 measures, I think. And I also have four levels of backing tracks, so you can work your speed up, and of course, PDF tabs. And also in the video, I have like a live, what I call live performance track, where I play it slow, medium, and fast you know, up close with nothing on the screen so you get a nice clean shot. And then, you know, again, just playing it, so to speak, live. You can see what's going on and kind of hear it all go by, okay? So if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, I've got a ton of lessons, over 220 on my website. You can click the second link in the box down there and you can learn about being a member and access everything for a monthly or yearly fee. I come out with a new lesson every week. I've got some courses over there as well. Check it out if you're interested. For now, we're gonna go ahead and start walking through this lesson a little bit and give you a taste of how it's gonna go. We'll put the tabs on the screen. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and break down Rocky Top here in the key of G. And uh, got a lot of measures. We're gonna cover the whole tune. Make sure that uh, you watch the markings on the bottom of the staff as they are your pick directions and very important to be, to be able to pull it off at a fast tempo. And any markings above the staff is your left hand fingerings. Okay, so I'm gonna play the first three measures and then we'll break them down. So I got a nice little pickup here, kind of a banjo style pickup. And uh, so it sounds like this three, four, one. <laughs> Joe-esque here, the whole first measure and a half. So what do we got there? So um, in the first measure, it starts on beat two, is that first little markings of a quarter note rest. And we kind of have what I uh, would call triple stops. Um, you know, you're playing three notes at once. Kind of a weird term, but... What we have is I've got my pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And in the right hand, I'm going to strum the open G, open B, and the uh, third fret G. Okay. And I'm going to kind of, you don't necessarily have to do a brush stroke. Um, it's hard to kind of do sometimes at fast tempos. When you kind of, it's kind of in between, like not necessarily picking them, I'm not necessarily strumming them, I'm doing a brush stroke. I'm like strumming through the strings. Okay, so it's 
and then the, the second notes are, and I put my first finger on the first fret of the B and strum the same three notes. And then second finger on the second fret of the B and strum the same three strings, I should say. Okay, that one's really dissonant by itself. Okay, and if I want to have a nice little touch about me, I might, again, have kind of a brush stroke. Um, again, it's tough to do up to speed, like really fast, because I know this one gets going, but. And, and in general, just to kind of get those three strings to sound nice and even together, it's, uh, it's a delicate matter as well. All right, and then the next measure, I'm going to hammer two to three on the B string, okay, on the third fret. I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, second fret to third fret hammer on the B strings. And then I'm going to have a strum in between it. I'm going to kind of do this as you see over and over, so it's... So kind of three times. One and two and three and four and one and two and... And I'm always leaving my pinky down there, so I'm strumming the, the B and the E. If you, get, if you catch the G in there, open G, it's not the end of the world. It perfectly fits. We're playing over top of the G, but I want to kind of isolate it a little bit and bring those notes forward. So I try to stick to the bottom two. So two, three hammer on the B. And then the last four notes of the third measure there. Um, open G, second fret G, fourth fret G. Okay, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be a quick little shift here. I want to get there with my second finger on the fourth fret. And then third fret B um, with my first finger. Three and four, and those are eighth notes, so down up picking. So all three of those measures in context are one, two, three, four, one. So again, kind of very banto-esque, they would kind of, you know, they would roll, you know, but they do that hammer on like that, this stuff. Kind of like the Foggy Mountain breakdown lick a little bit. Um, last time, up speed. So let's move on here to the next set of measures. And I'm going to continue with doing double stops. And we're going to be doing double stops a lot throughout this piece. And um, it's kind of a theme because the song is so long. I'm trying to get, or the song is so fast, I'm sorry, so fast, that doing individual picking all the time is really tough to keep up, keep going. And I'm not a super, you know, like monster picker. Um, you know, maybe like some guys, you play a lot of notes. I mean... We do have to play a lot in this piece, but I'm going to use double stops to my advantage um, all throughout the piece to give me, you know, more strength, more sustain, just more, you know, more sound, right? Uh, so here's what we got for this one. All right, so here we go. Three, four. third fret of the B string and we're gonna play that note again with the high E this time sounds a little dissonant by itself 
but I'm now going to hammer on the fifth fret of the B string with my third finger. Okay, and uh, yeah, hitting that that high E's going to be open this whole time. One and two and three, four and so it's just kind of look. Just gotta watch your strumming there. One and two and three, four and or down, down, up, down, down, up. And I got the double stop. I guess I have unison notes there, really. Both of them are E notes. And then the next measure, um, I go back to third fret B and I pull it off. Okay, and then I play a B note here on the 4th fret of the G, slide it down the 2nd fret, open G, 0 2 hammer on the D. That measure itself is, whoops, there we go, ready, go. measures over top of the E minor now. I play the open G note, play the fifth fret D note, which is a G the drone. And then I'm going to kind of bounce between these two strings. Um, open G, fifth fret D, open G, and then I am going to lift and play the open D on the upstroke on that last note, because I'm going to the D chord, and that D note's going to carry me over there. did slide into that one, two, and that's a quick slide. You can slide from the third fret. It has to be at this pick and slide at the exact same time. It's not, nope, it's. three of those measures together. Ready, go. Last time slowly go.